Hey y'all, it's Dawn, and I'm so glad you're back. I've got another fun, budget-friendly DIY video for you today. To make an adorable ladybug garland, I use these 10 millimeter beads in red and black and natural unpainted along with this red and white baker's twine from Dollar Tree. I place some tape at the end of the baker's twine to help it keep from unraveling and also to make it easier to go through the small hole in the beads. I place the beads on the twine in a pattern until I ran out of black beads. I just didn't want to paint any more beads. I use some thin jute and the twine and wrap them around my finger about 10 times to create a tassel for both ends of the garland. I then took the tail from the garland and tied it in the middle of the tassel. I did the same thing on the other end of the garland. I gathered the first tassel in my hand and placed a dab of hot glue. I wrapped the twine around the top of the tassel a few times and then placed another dab of hot glue to hold the end and covered it with the twine. I then cut the extra twine off. I gathered the tassel in my hand again and cut all the strings in the center. I trimmed the tassel, making sure all the strings were close to the same length. I then untwisted and unraveled a few pieces of the twine to make them a little fluffy. I did the same process on the other tassel and trimmed it to the same length as the first. I bought these little ladybugs from Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description for them. I removed the sticker from the bottom and attached them to the top of the tassel with hot glue. And just look at how stinking cute this is. It's going to look great on my ladybug tear tray. Now for DIY number two. I created this adorable ladybug book stack using a Dollar Tree crate. I used Waverly Crimson Chalk Paint and painted the entire crate, even the inside. I created the words in Cricut Design Space and cut them out. After weeding and applying to transfer tape, I applied the words to the crate or the book stack. I had some black and white polka dot ribbon in my stash. I made a simple bow with the ribbon. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know the bow has to be simple for me to make it. I hot glued some of the ribbon on the opposite side of the book stack and then hot glued the bow on top of it. I got these adorable little ladybugs from Amazon and hot glued one of them to the center of the bow. And look at how stinking cute. I just wished I would have used white vinyl. I think it would have popped more than the black. Let me know in the comments what color of vinyl you would have used. 
Up next, DIY number three. I do believe this is one of the simplest DIYs I've ever done. I used two of these clothespins to create some adorable ladybug clothespins that look great clipped on a pot on a tear tray. I left the clothespins the natural color. If you wanted, you could always paint them or even stain them, but I love the look of the natural wood. For one of the clothespins, I tied a simple bow out of this red and white baker's twine from Dollar Tree and attached it to the top of the clothespin with hot glue. I hot glued the little ladybugs to each of the clothespins. And that was it. And just look at how adorable these little clothespins turned out. DIY number four. I had this Dollar Tree mug in my stash. And some of the paint had came off of it. So I painted over the existing paint with two coats of Waverly White chalk paint and dried it with my heat gun in between coats. I placed several of the little ladybugs I had gotten from Amazon onto the mug. I used the sticker part that was on the ladybugs and just attached them randomly around the mug. I wrapped some Dollar Tree red and white baker's twine around the top of the mug and tied a small bow in the front and then trimmed the tails off of the twine. It's so stinking cute just like this. But I decided to use some small solo wood flowers in the mug. I painted the wood flowers in various colors of red and let them dry. I used these stems I had in my stash to attach the wood flowers to. I placed a dab of hot glue on the bottom of the wood flower and then placed the stem on the bottom, pushing the stem into the flower. I touched up each of the flowers with more red paint just to make sure the natural color wasn't showing. And cut the stems down to size to fit into the ladybug mug. I didn't like how the leaves looked when I placed the flowers in the mug, so I just removed them, and I'll be putting them back in my stash to be used on another project. I continued doing this until all the flowers were completed. I used a rubber band and wrapped it around the stems to hold the bouquet in place in the mug. I added some lamb's ear foliage around the roses in the mug. And look at how adorable the mini ladybug mug is. It's just so stinking cute. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Now, DIY number five. I found this rolling pin in my stash. I think I got it from Amazon when I was doing my Christmas crafts last year. I decided to leave the rolling pin the natural color, and I created the cut file in Design Space and cut it out on black vinyl. After weeding and applying the vinyl to transfer tape, I applied it to the rolling pin sort of diagonally. I 
I used another little ladybug I had gotten from Amazon. These ladybugs actually come with little raised stickers on the bottom. I removed the stickers and hot glued the ladybugs to the rolling pin because I wanted them to sit flat. I then used some Dollar Tree red and white baker's twine and wrapped it around one end of the rolling pin and tied a simple bow. For whatever reason, my ladybug fell off, so I just removed the hot glue from the bottom and attached it again with hot glue. And just look at how cute the ladybug rolling pin turned out. DIY number six. I found this adorable farm fresh milk sign at Dollar General. Well, I actually found three of them, so I don't feel bad for redoing this one into a ladybug sign. I removed the sign part from the frame using an X-Acto knife to score the hot glue holding the picture to the frame and then gently push the picture out. I decided to use the back of the sign. After removing the sticker, I painted the back of the sign with two coats of Waverly plaster chalk paint and dried it with my heat gun between coats. I found this adorable ladybug cut file on design bundles. I sized it in design space and cut it out. I layered the vinyl and then applied the design to transfer tape and then to the sign. I used hot glue around the edge of the frame and placed the sign back inside of it. like the frame needed something. I used more of the little ladybugs from Amazon and stuck them to the frame. For these ladybugs I left the sticker on and just removed the paper from the sticker so they would stick to the frame. And just look at how stinking cute the ladybug tear tray sign turned out. And last but not least, DIY number seven. I have some wood tags left over from Christmas, so I decided I would make a little ladybug wood tag for my tear tray. The tag was stained, so I used Waverly plaster paint and painted the entire tag front and back. I dried my tag using my heat gun because who has time for the paint to dry? I created this cut file in design space and applied it to the wood tag. I placed more of the Amazon ladybugs on the tag using hot glue. I had a few places that had scratches, so I touched them up with the paint. I tied a super simple bow using some red and white ribbon I had in my stash and hot glued it to the top of the tag covering the hole. And seriously, look at how stinking cute. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Happy crafting.